All right then my friends, so next up I want to talk about something else we can do with Blade and that is to make a layout template which can then wrap all of our different page views. So currently we only have two views inside the ninjas folder, the index one for the index page and the show one for the ninja details page and later in the series we'll be adding more views for different pages. Now in each of these views we basically have the entire HTML document structure. We've got the HTML tag itself, a head with meta tags, a title tag and probably at some point we'll have links to a style sheet in here too. Then we've got the body tag and inside that the actual page content. So all of that head content is probably going to be the same across pretty much every page that we have and at some point I'd imagine we'd want to create maybe a nav bar with some links that goes at the top of every page as well inside the body. So Altogether, if we have that same content on every page view, that's a lot of code duplication. And it means that if we need to change the head or the navbar content at any point in the future, we'd have to then update that on every single view that we create. So a better solution would be to make a layout file which contains all of that content present on every page. And that single layout file can then just be wrapped around each page view that we have. That way there's no code duplication and if we ever need to update the head or the navbar or anything else in the layout, we only need to update it in one place. Right then, so how do we make a layout? Well, in recent versions of Laravel, the suggested approach is to make a components folder within the view folder. And then inside that components folder, we'd just make a file called layout.blade.php. Now, this folder needs to be called components because later, when we wrap the page views with this layout, Laravel automatically searches for the layout component inside that components folder. And what we're essentially doing here is just creating a reusable blade component, which is why the folder is called components. And we're going to talk more about components in general, probably in the next lesson. For now, just know that this folder needs to be called components, but you can actually name the layout file something else if you want to. All right then. So now we just need to flesh out this file. So I'm going to start by boilerplating a simple HTML document and we'll change the title as well to Ninja Network. And then what we'll do is come to the body and we'll just add a little bit of content for some kind of header or nav bar. So we'll do a header tag and then inside that we'll do a nav tag. Inside that we'll do a title in the nav bar, so an H1, and this is called Ninja Network. And then beneath that we'll do an anchor tag, which is going to go to forward slash ninjas. So remember, that's this index page to list all the ninjas. The text for that is going to be all ninjas and then below that we'll do another anchor tag so a and then this one will go to forward slash ninjas and then forward slash create now we don't have a route set up for this yet or a view set up for that but we will create a view to create new ninjas later which is going to be a web form so as the text we will say create new ninja like so and then down here We'll do a main tag with a class of container. I'm applying this class so that later I can style that class and it will look a bit better. Okay, so now we've made the basic layout structure and now I want to wrap this layout around the page views so that whatever content is inside the page view gets rendered right here in the main tag. Now the way we do this is by first of all coming inside the main tag and outputting a special variable we get access to in views called slot. And slot refers to whatever content that this layout component will eventually wrap. So by outputting the slot variable here, we're saying that whatever content this layout component wraps in the future should be rendered right here in the main tag. So that's the first step done. The next thing we need to do is wrap this layout around the page view content. So let's head to the index page inside the ninjas folder first and we're going to wrap the content. Now in this page we no longer need the head content or the HTML tag or even the body tag because that's all now inside the layout file. So you can just delete all of that. And also don't forget to delete the closing tags at the end as well. So this content that we're left with is what we want to render in that slot position in the layout. And for that to happen, we just need to wrap this content with the layout component. But how do we do that? 
Well, whenever we want to use a custom component that we've created inside the components folder within another view, we just need to use that component as a tag. Now the tag needs to start with an X and then a dash and then the component name, which in this case is layout. Now the X part tells Blade that this tag is actually a custom component from the components folder. So when Blade sees this, it knows to look inside that folder and grab that file so it can render the template from that file right here. We also need a closing tag for the component, which again is going to be forward slash then x dash layouts. And now this layout component wraps the view content right here. And that means all of this content nested within the layout gets output where that slot variable is within the layout component. So when we go to forward slash ninjas now, we're going to render this index view. Blade then sees that we're using this layout component, grabs all the template for that layout and renders it right here around the actual page content, which gets nested inside the main tag where that slot variable is. And the result is a full HTML document. So we'll try this out in a minute. But first of all, I want to do the same thing for the show view. So let's get rid of all this junk at the top and then this stuff right at the bottom. We're just left with this H2 now. And again, we can use that special component tag, which starts with an X, then a dash, then the component name, which is layout. And then we also need the closing tag as well, X hyphen layout. And now we've got no code duplication. We're not repeating the same thing in each page. It's all just inside this one layout file. And if we need to make changes, we're just going to do it here in the future. All right, so now on the index page, we can see that the layout file has taken effect because we have this nav bar at the top. And if we click on one of these view details links, then we're going to see the same layout on the show page as well. Awesome. Now check this out. We also made a link in the nav bar, which goes to forward slash create, which we don't have a route of view set up for yet. But when we click on this link, we actually do see a page and it's the show page. The same one we see when we click to view more details about a ninja. So this route, which is forward slash ninjas forward slash create actually matches the route that we set up before with the wildcard in it. And in this case, the wildcard is just the word create instead of a number. So then before we finish this lesson, I just want to set up a separate route and a separate view for the create page. To do this, let's go to the routes file first of all, and we're going to copy the welcome one and we're just going to paste it above the wildcard one and we'll change the path to forward slash ninjas forward slash create. Now it needs to go above the wildcard one because when a request to a path comes in to the server, Laravel tries to match the path against these routes in turn, right? And it does this by starting at the top and it works its way down until it finds a match and then it fires the handler for the first match it finds. So if the wildcard one for the show page was above the create one, Laravel would match the path to that route and it would still send back the show view where the word create would be the ID wildcard. But if we create the forward slash create route above the show one, then Laravel matches the request with that route first of all and it fires the handler function for this one. So then inside this handler function, we just want to return a view and the view we want to return is ninjas.create and we don't need to pass any data into this view. So remember, we say ninjas first because the view is going to be inside the ninjas folder, right? Okay, so now we can make that view for the create page by going to the ninjas folder and we're just going to make a new file this time called create.blade.php. And then inside this file, we first of all need to use the layout component by creating that X dash layout tag. Also remember the closing tag for this as well. And then we just need to add whatever content this view needs inside these tags. Now, later on, that's going to be a web form to add new ninjas. But for now, we're just going to add an H2, which has the text create page. And that's pretty much it. So now let's see if this works in a browser. And now if we click on this link, create new ninjas, then we see the create page title. Awesome. 